And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DWA Boom Wrestling, as we have quite a special, special night lineup for tonight's card with you guys tonight, as we have a triple main event, this being the first of three, yes, we have the immortal Hulk Hogan taking on the Mastodon from the Rocky Mountains. Big Bang Beta as he makes his way down to the ring here and we are having quite the battle of the Bohemus to start things off here this evening as I said this being the first of our three main events second match we are going to be seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin in a grudge match against Owen Hart and in the final matchup of today's action we are going to be seeing for the retro world title the giant defending against the undertaker so stay tuned for that folks we have a lot of action going on here tonight for you and uh, we're opening things up here with these two big big fellas here as the Hulkster trying to get an upper hand here on Vader but he is just throwing him to the ground as the two now exchanging fists and cuffs and uh, Hogan trying to try to try to weaken Vader with some shots to the knees and try to take him for take his legs out from underneath him but you can't be taking vader too lightly here whatsoever because this man will flat out pummel you just like you saw there look at that flurry of elbows straight to the face of the hulkster and almost stocked that mustache right off of his face and uh, vader going back in on the attack big back body drop hulk hogan is starting to see exactly what he's in the ring and dealing with right now is vader big elbow to the drop back of the head and followed up by a big falling elbow to the back of the head lots of elbows going on here and uh, Hogan we see going back to the back to the knees but Vader a very agile big man 450 pounds doing moonsaults off the top and a great short arm clothesline taking the Hulkster off of his feet into the court into the turnbuckles and the two exchanging fists once again here now we see Hulk Hogan in not his usual attire. This guy's now, he's got the workout gear on in here, but uh, Vader with his usual stuff on, and he is about to unleash some fury, I am sure. No doubt about that one here. As we see Hulk, Vader thrown into the turnbuckle. Another big elbow to the back of the head on Hogan. As Hogan looks to be clearly stunned here, but Hogan with some back elbows of his own here, knocking Vader off of his feet. Big fist to the face. And we see Vader with a big standing suplex, but Hogan to his feet first. How do you like that? Big judo toss by Vader now. As he pulls Hogan back up, still a little stunned, but uh, feeling some life in it with some back elbows. And a big leg drop. He's hit him with the leg drop already. A little early for that. I don't think he's going to have enough to finish him off, but we see Hogan throwing the camel clutch onto Vader. That same camel clutch that we saw him break out of it to win his first world championship when he defeated the Iron Sheik all those years ago. But Vader, big, big gorilla pressed, throwing Hogan to the ground. And Hogan taking a lot more bumps than we're used to seeing him taking. At least in the ring, that is. You saw the promos he used to do in the 80s. I'm sure he did a couple of bumps before those, no doubt. <laughs> but we see Hogan with now a single leg, single leg crowbar. Vader able to kick out. Another Irish whip into the corner. What are we going to see here? Oh, Hogan able to capitalize, taking a Vader off with a big body slam. And now Vader is the one who's stunned. These, both these men, big, big fellas that I'm sure both very hot, dehydrated and, uh, and winded, to say the least, not used to going such lengthened matches, and uh, at least with not such ferocity. Anyways, Vader, big, big elbow drop straight to the face of Hogan. We'll try to do some more damage to that mustache, no doubt. As Hogan off of the ropes with a big double axe handle. Two. Not going to do too much with that. But uh, all the same, keeping Vader. Keeping Vader on his toes. And his big sidewalk slam by Vader. Saying that's it. What's going to happen here now? We're going to hit it with a power bomb. No, Hogan reverses with an Irish whip into the corner. Followed up by a big clothesline. Vader. 
It's Hogan with another one of those back elbows. Seem to be uh, finding their mark each time. A short arm clothesline takes Hogan down to the ground. And Vader now capitalizing with a big power bomb onto the Hulkster. Is that going to be enough to do it? One, two, three. Oh, no, not this time, brother. Is Hogan able to kick out at just in the nick of time? But again, not used to seeing him taking such huge bumps inside the ring and... Uh, you see him with a nice headlock on Vader. It's right in the center of the ring. Both men back to their feet. And Hogan with a big gorilla press on the 450-pounder right outside to the ring. Vader's got to be staggering after that one. I'm sure he is not used to being so high off the ground, looking straight down and getting thrown with such force, I'm sure. And now Vader wants to repay Hogan with the exact same maneuver as he says it's over after that. He's through playing games and he's seen enough of the Hulkster's ugly mug, but the Hulkster takes off with a running power slam, followed by a big elbow. Are we going to see the leg drop? We got the leg drop of Vader pops right back up. We've never seen this before. Right off of the leg drop, we see Vader. Vader is, in fact, hulking up. He just took that leg drop and now he is on the offensive. There's Hogan now a big, uh, big suplex, but both men you can see clearly winded. Not used to going this long in a match. Not used to dishing out so much punishment as well as taking so much at the same time. And now we see the Hulkster with that old faithful hulking up. Is he going to have enough of the tank to get this done? Two, three, four, five. Vader not. He's still on his feet though. Boom! Big belly to belly from Vader. I don't know where he pulled that from. It looked like he was stunned, but... All the same, Hogan now coming back, big side, side breaker, Irish whip into the ropes, big boot to the face, we get to see another leg drop, no, he decides to take it back up, but he only gets one punch, and he's, that's all he can throw, just the one punch, Vader's on the, oh, what's going on here, for back and forth, fist of cuffs, who's taking, who's gonna win this one? Back and forth, Vader, Hogan, Vader, Hogan, and Vader takes him off with a huge clothesline. Gotta take a few seconds to breathe there, big man. Ooh, vicious clothesline. He almost decapitated Hogan with that one right there. Big clubs to the back. As Vader seems to be taking control here, Hogan doesn't know where he is or what to do. Oh, yeah, brother. He pulls a big side slam and out of nowhere, trying to hulk up and buster as much as he can. As both men clearly win it and tied, but Vader. Oh, he hit it with that big power bomb, the Vader bomb. Two, three, oh my goodness. Vader has taken and defeated Hogan clean, oh my God. And it is now time for our second of three main events here this evening as we see the rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin on his way to the ring. You heard that glass shatter and uh, someone's about to catch a laceration to say the least out here as he waits in the ring for his opponent in this grudge match. You can't have a grudge match like this as Owen Hart once broke Steve Austin's neck, walked around with a t-shirt that said Owen 316, I just broke your neck. And how crazy is that? And how ruthless is that? And that was the that was the times back then. And then we have this grudge match going on here right now with Stone Cold and Owen Hart. Now let's get it on as we lock up here. Uh, Owen Hart off the ropes, but he's saying, "Uh, uh, I ain't coming to you that easy." There, Stone Cold, as he hits him right away with a body slam. Locking up once again, Stone Cold returning the favor with a body slam right onto. Owen Hart, another body slam. Okay, these guys are joking around. Oh, going for a quick pin. But that's not going to get the job done, at least not this early in the matchup. Is uh, Owen throwing some hard right hands. And he hits him with the quick and Seguri. Right into that big bald head. Austin hitting the floor, but uh, Owen missing with the drop kick right there. And Stone Cold looking to capitalize with another Irish whip. But uh, Owen not, not uh, too keen on running back to Stone Cold after those Irish whips. Not going to hold on to the ropes there. But missing with the drop kick as Stone Cold, another body slam, but this time throwing St Owen right out of the ring. But Owen 
Hart, Sle sneaky little bugger rolling right back into the ring, trying to get the advantage here on Stone Cold, as we see a blatant poke to the eyes, <laughs> trying to get any upper hand that you can by any means necessary, but a test of strength, I do not think Owen's going to be winning this one with Stone Cold, as uh, we see Stone Cold taking Owen Hart down with a drop toe hold. And going right back to the clubs and uh, stomps to the back as Stone Cold looking to get the advantage here. But uh, not for long as we see Owen Hart with a vicious camel clutch onto the rattlesnake. This is going right back and forth, people. I don't know who's getting the upper hand or advantage of this one. But uh, at the moment, we see Stone Cold throwing fists on in the corner. As Owen looking to be a little bit stunned. And we see another single leg crab. Owen back to his feet, though. Clearly not too much damage done with that maneuver. As we see some European uppercuts against some good old Flash and Haymakers, courtesy of Stone Cold. And I think those Haymakers will do the job every time. But only a one count as Owen back to his feet. We're seeing quite some action here in the opening minutes of this one. I anticipate this is going to be a classic, folks. So sit down, settle in, and just enjoy the action here from... Boom! Courtesy of Dynamite Wrestling Alliance here. Stone Cold with the metal finger. A big ol' fuck you to Owen Hart. And we know exactly why he's saying that to him. But now he's getting back in there with a baseball bat. Enough is enough. And it's time for a change. But uh, Owen able to get the bat out of the hands of Stone Cold. But only to eat some fists. And I'm thinking he's not liking where he's at at this very moment. Refusing to pick up that bat. He wants to have a wrestling match here, people. Another drop kick missed, and Stone Cold looking to take the advantage. Go right on the offensive idiot with a big gut red suplex right on top of that bat. And just getting on top with some good old fashioned fists to the face. Owen. Owen's in a world of hurt here, people. He's in a world of hurt. He needs to he needs to get things changed over in his favor real fast, or he might be on the receiving end of a a very cold, very cold stunner. But only a two count there as uh, Owen able to kick out and avoid the pinfall. Back into a lockup. Another club to the back. It's Austin going to do here now. Oh, he got it with a stunner. Is that going to do it? One, two. Oh, just a two count. Owen able to kick out for the stunner, and he bitch slaps him. Can you believe that? He ate that stunner, that bitch slapped Austin right in the mouth. Only the likes of Owen Hart could do something like that and get away with it, but he hasn't even got away with it yet because he's still got a full match to wrestle, people. Austin now, oh, getting the body on the receiving end of a body slam from Owen. He seems to be charged up and rejuvenated here. Big fists. But Owen back down to the ground here. He was clearly looking a little disoriented and stunned. Just fighting off instinct and adrenaline here. Able to get Austin down with the shoulder block. Austin looks like he's a little bit stunned here too. What can I say? Eight minutes into the match here. We see a Boston Crab from Owen Hart. I think he'd be better off putting him in that classic sharpshooter. Oh, big pile driver. He's trying to work that neck that he once broke of Austin. As he is a nice pile driver, Austin might be a little bit dazed and, dazed and confused after that, but able to break out with a couple of fists of fury and not going hard to the floor. And some more fists on top, just fists of fury, you know, full out flop, clobber knocking. Oh, wow. What action we got going on here, but Owen oh, Hart with us. I don't think that pin's going to get the job done. What are you trying to do? Obviously, obviously both men are stunned. You're trying to go for a pinfall after a Come on now. Anyhow, lock up. Big, big head, talk, head take down. Into the Irish whip. And Owen with a big atomic drop. Are we going to see a sharpshooter here now? No. Going for the pin. One, two. Oh, not even a two. What a match we got going on here, people. Stick around to the finish. We see Austin. Big knees to the gut. Big elbow off the ropes, right to the back of the head to Owen Hart. But Owen Hart stands up quick and another pile driver. He wants to break his freaking neck once again. What can I say? Austin not trying to get taken down twice. He may be Steve Austin, the $6 million man made out of steel because I don't know how he's tolerating all these pile drivers after already having his neck broken once 
by the very man that he's in the ring there. Owen Hart that we can see right now is Austin trying to go for the Luthez press. And he's on top with some more fists. He's saying to hell with the wrestling moves. Good old-fashioned fists are going to get this job done as we see him take it off. Take it over to school and another good old here's Tuya with a fuck you and some fingers. And once again, those European uppercuts are no match for the good old fist. And a big old clothesline by Austin knocking Owen right off of his feet. What action we got going on here? This could have been a main event all in its own, but this is just the this this is the cream of the Oreo cookie, people. So we're gonna we got some more going on and we got a sharpshooter. Oh, and that's got Austin in that sharpshooter. Is he gonna tap? Yeah, he gets able to kick out. Not gonna get Austin to tap that easy. But Austin able to get back on the advantage, only to find himself on his back again after a body slam from Owen Hart now trying to catch his breath and, uh, and and really take advantage of this. And what is this? That's the exact same move. He broke his neck. Then we see it and again. Oh, my God. Austin is not going to be able to walk after this one. Two. Oh. Well, Austin, at least we can see he's back to his feet. That is a good sign. They're able to take down Owen Hart and still, still get something done. But, oh, we're going right back for another one. Another pile driver. That's got to be the, at least the fifth one this match. As Austin has got to be on Dream Street here. Big spinning heel kick and both men are down. But Austin able to get to his feet first. Again, those Philly knees to the chest and sternum. When you see a million dollar dream perhaps? No. You no know, one able to break free of that. And a big insiguri. Again to the head. Austin has taken a tremendous amount of head trauma in this match, people. And the ref may be forced to call. That's what he got the stop. Oh my god! That's the rat of nowhere, too! Oh! So close. Oh, Owen Hart has kicked out of two stunners here, and he has landed at least five vicious pile drivers onto Stone Cold as we see both men taking a while to get up here. What a match we have seen here. Belly to belly, followed by a sharpshooter. Are we going to get Austin a tap? Very smart strategy here by Owen Hart. Vicious head trauma, and he is taking a lot of damage to Austin's legs. He Austin's got to be hurt from head to toe here. As both men standing, but clearly breathing very heavy. Fist back and forth. European uppercut. Big clothesline. Oh, oh, and back down. Oh, and he's back up with a heel kick. Austin is the one on the ground, followed by an elbow. Owen Hart is pulling out everything he has. And another pile driver for the sixth time on top of the bat. That has got to do the trick, people. Austin has got to be out of it. A pile driver on top of the bat has got to do it. Followed by the shoulder breaker. Oh, no. Austin looks to be in a lot of trouble here. Are we going to see Owen Hart get his revenge after losing <laughs> to Austin after breaking his neck the first time around? What they meant, I do not know. But we shall soon see. As we see a Russian leg sweep from Owen Hart, but Austin to his legs first. All oh, the action here is tremendous. Both men back and forth. Big body slam by Owen Hart as he goes to the top rope. Missile drop click. Vintage Owen Hart right there. Belly to belly. Are we going to see another sharpshooter? No. Austin still. Oh, we got a sleeper hold. Ring the bell, the ring the bell, ref, it's over. Owen Hart is defeated on Stone Cold with a sleeper hold after six pile drivers. Oh my goodness. And it is now time for the main event of the evening in this triple header as we see the challenger, The Undertaker. Challenging the big seven foot four, 500 pound giant who is the current retro world heavyweight champion. And uh, this being his first title defense after winning the championship last week from Rick Rude and winning the retro rumble. And uh, ring the bell, rough. Let's get this one started. As we see these two lock up, big elbow and forearm smash to the chest of the Undertaker. 
as well as a bear hug going on early. He's looking to wear him down, just throwing Undertaker to the ground. It's not too often that you see the Undertaker as the smaller of the two individuals in the matchup, but that is exactly what you are seeing in this one as he is uh, at six foot ten and 330 pounds. A little bit smaller than the, the Giant, who's got him covered by about five inches and about 100 pounds. So we see the, the Giant going on the offensive. Big knees to the chest here. The Undertaker eating knees and eating feet to the back here. He's looking like he might be in some trouble and may have been a, a little bit more than he can chew in this one as uh, youth is definitely on the side of the Giant as the Undertaker, clearly. Even though he is the dead man, Getting on up there and uh, looking a little bit more slower than he once was when he used to don the black and purple. But all the same, we see that giant here. Big gorilla press. Throwing the Undertaker flat on his face. And it's not too often that we see him in this predicament getting tossed around like a rag doll. As uh, the giant just uh, having his way with the Undertaker. Really just elbows and knees and dragging this man around like a bloody carcass i don't know what we, what's what's going on here the undertaker's got to get something going because he's not looking good off the ropes nothing and the undertaker taken off of his feet as the giant just with a blatant chokehold and lifted the dead man right off of his feet right in plain sight of the referee fist back and forth and the taker back on this floor Wow, I do not like what I'm seeing, and I don't like to see The Undertaker in this type of ways as the Giant just stomp in a mud hole into The Undertaker. Uh, only a one count, though. But, uh, okay, The Undertaker with an Irish trip, throwing The under uh, Giant out to the outside of the ring, hopefully trying to take advantage here now. The title will not change hands via count out, but... Looks like Giant might be trying to get himself disqualified. It's not even after fight that's come back of the Undertaker. But once again, the Undertaker eating it, and he's on the wrong side of a suplex from the big man. Ooh, but he got the big man up there with a holding suplex. Giant, the big harder they are, the far bigger they are, the harder they definitely do fall. Is that's gonna take some wind out of you? But the Giant. Back on the offensive with a big clothesline, knocking the Undertaker down. Undertaker trying to even things back up a little bit, but I, my goodness, what can I say? Another pinfall attempt by the Giant. But he is taking some damage here, and he is eating some feet in the, in the ways of big boots to the face as the Giant looking to, I'm sure, hit the Undertaker with that patented choke slam. And walk away retaining his retro championship. Oh, and just another two count. Undertaker's got to do something here. I don't believe he's even got even one pinfall attempted out here. But big pinfall into the corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little submission and elbow rubbing in the face. That's going to piss anybody off. I know that's happened to me before in a fight. I don't like it. Big body drop to the big man. Oh, my goodness. I didn't get him off his feet like that. Oh, the choke slam! Giant found a choke slam. He's winded, but he got it on him. And the Undertaker's still a little stunned as he eats a little more hip here there. And the Giant, though, big man got uh, gets gassed easily, obviously. We saw that last week, but he was able to capture that retro title all the same. And he finds himself in a defense now this week. And... I got to say, out of the two here, he has been obviously having quite the advantage here. Been on the offensive for most of the match, and I have never seen The Undertaker in such trouble before, as he is in danger of actually losing quite handily to the big man as a giant once again with another elbow smash to the face. That chair still sitting there, yet to be used, but <clears throat> hey, it's there, and if you land on that, that could be lights out. Undertaker trying to fight back and do whatever he can here, but just one big fist and he's down from the Giant. Just stomping him. Uh, 
as a giant. Oh, is it? Oh, he breaks the choke slam attempt from the Undertaker, and is it? Oh, I got a big power bomb onto the chair from the uh, from the giant, followed by a big headbutt. But the Undertaker, he's he's not feeling any of this. This man is raging right now, and he's trying to he's trying to take out the giant and walk away with this retro championship. So. Who is going to walk away with this? I do not know because they are both down on the ground. But the giant, the giant, we've seen this. Don't don't count him out just because he's winded. Because this man can get the job done. All it takes is one big move, and that's over. As you can see, the Undertaker still on his back. Oh, and he hits that giant with that choke slam. Could that be it? Two. No, oh, just a two count. Very near fall. But the giant with a big body slam onto the chair. Catching some wind. And we see another big power bomb to the Undertaker. Oh, could that be it? Two, three. The Undertaker just had his last ride as the giant retains the retro championship, defeating Undertaker with a big power bomb. Thank you for being here this week. I am Breezy. You felt the boom. And we'll see you next time.